What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video and in today's video we are playing some more Plague Inc. Evolved just because you guys really really seem to love this series. I mean 35 views on the virus video and 23 views on the bacteria video. <laughs> That's just insane. That's insane man. So in order to fulfill your satisfaction we're going to be playing with fungus and now uh, this is gonna sound really cliche, but I've already recorded this video. This is the second recording. I messed up something in the screen recorder, but hey, that's life, you know? So anyways, let's go continue. Yeah, this is what I got last game, but I just wanted to uh, say something real quick, and that is thank you guys for the support. I thank you for the guy who left a like on that video really appreciate you and yeah uh, let's stop this pep talk and let's continue gaming so if you have you can play along with me and you can use this as a guide but uh, I, I don't know if you saw but I've already beaten this on brutal difficulty I used a lot of strategies I used at least 10 strategies, but out of those 10 strategies, I uh, found that only one really works with this fungus disease type. I don't really like fungus, but hey, that's on the agenda. So if you have any genes, you can use this one. What is this? Yeah, I think I'm going to get this just because the strategy requires the, this gene in particular. Uh, these I don't really recommend Darwinist just because you get symptoms really uh, quick I don't have any of these this is a good one and uh, this one yes let's go continue let's select brutal difficulty and at the beginning I was thinking of damning it mold 595 but then I was like wait fungus has fun in it right and what's the most fun game that's currently in 2020 come on I'm pretty sure that everyone has played it. That's right, it's Among Us, Among Us. And what better name to give this than Among Us the Fungus? I know it's a little it's a stretch, but hey, I like it and that's all that matters. Among Us the Fungus. Without further ado, let's play. Welcome to Plague Inc. You are a new fungus. To win, you must evolve and spread across the world, wiping out all humans in the ultimate plague. Select starting location. So, out of every strategy I tried, the best are either China or India, and the real st the strategy that really worked was in China. And I know I started in China uh, playing with the virus, but I guess China is a really good disease starter. I'm sorry if I offended anybody. Anyway, let's start in China. There we go. Among Us, in Among Us the Fungus begins in China. So... The strategy really begins as uh, get spore burst as quick as possible and cold resistance as quick as possible. Uh, I don't really like fungus disease type just because it's really weak and it takes an awfully long time to spread and really infect the entire world. Uh, but uh, so really uh, evolving transmissions aren't really going to be that useful except for uh, water and air which will help just a little bit go through you know the water and the air but we're mostly going to be using uh, uh, spore burst to really infect every single country so similar to the bacteria we're gonna be really really quiet and really really passive until the end where we're gonna strike the most but compared to the bacteria, compared to the bacteria, the fungus is really weak, and so the end, the end game is just completely on the tip of your toes. Like by the time you get two million, two billion people dead, the cure is going to be fifty percent. So uh, at the end, we're gonna want total organ failure as total organ failure we can't get anything below it 
just because we need to kill people real fast, real quick. So that's why we need at least 60 DNA at the end of this when we have like about 6.5 billion people infected. But anyways, we're gonna be playing it as is normal bacteria. See, we don't really want any symptoms. We're trying to go as stealthy as humanly possible. We need to get cold resistance too and drug resistance too. We also need to get cold and uh, I mean air and sorry air and water too, which I think I'm gonna be saving for that right now. More infections than TB or tuberculosis, if you if my some might say sorry. <laughs> there we go. It spreads to Central Asia. There's Kazakhstan. Last time I recorded this video, we got India right off the bat, which is just beautiful because India has uh, the most population, which will get me even more DNA points when upgrading. But Central Asia, ah, there's no, we didn't get India. We got Pakistan. Doesn't really matter. Let's get water too. We don't really need extreme bio. Uh, aerosol, considering we're gonna get a lot of spore bursts. There's Afghanistan, and let's just wait. There, there's India. There we go. Boy, India has been infected. There's Korea. Uh, right now, let's get cold resistance too. Right now, we're going to be saving for drug resistance too, just because we need to spread in these, oops, in these richer countries. Let's get let's, there's Russia. And fungus, I don't really like fungus just because it's, it's boring to me. You just have to wait. Uh, and you'll see at the end of the video, we're, we're going to be needing, at, or we're going to need at least, at least six years with this strategy to spread completely. Let's get that. How many DNA points do we need? We need 29. Ooh, that's a lot. I think I'm going to get a, a spore burst because that's going to increase the DNA count. There we go. Oh, those are so nice. Those are some nice infection bubbles right there. There's Russia. India completely infected. Damn, look at all the DNA. When did I get all of those? Let's get this. This is also very important. If you don't get this early on, you're going to run out of DNA. Uh, to, you're gonna run out of DNA to get total organ failure, and, but if you don't grab this, the infection or the cure progress will go three times as quick. Yeah, crisis symptoms. Sorry, crisis. We don't need you right now. There's Papua. I mean Indonesia. Almost said Papua New Guinea. Uh, there's the UK. There we go, Papua New Guinea. Uh, I've been really negative with the fungus, I'm sorry, but now I'm gonna say something really good. Uh, fungus doesn't really need uh, much, uh, or sorry, when we're playing with other plagues, these islands that are here, such as Greenland, Norway, Caribbean, Philippines, Japan, maybe Japan, not that much, but New Zealand, Papua New Guinea. And Madagascar are much easier to infect because we have spore burst, as you can see, uh, spore burst, and that basically means explosion happening that can infect no matter what. So let's get spore burst twice because almost the entire world is healthy and there's not really any risk of uh, not having DNA points at the end. There's Italy. I love this. I love when this happens. Like. A country is normal, normal, and then all of a sudden it becomes instantly red. Ah, uh, that's beautiful. There's Libya. There we go, Iceland. One of the majors has fallen. Greenland is the only one left. Out of the S class, you know. A class is Caribbean. Hold on, let me devolve this. Sorry, anemia. We don't really need you right now. A class is definitely Caribbean and Madagascar, and then C class is Papua New Guinea and uh, New Zealand. Japan is holding on pretty good, uh, considering the infection start or the plague started in China, uh, in Asia. Let's get this and this. This shit spread. Oh, let me pause it real quick. There we go. 
So now we've used all of our, most of the spore burst and now we're gonna wait. We can't use any more just because we need to save up uh, DNA points. We'll see if we get up to 70 and we still haven't gotten any of these, we're definitely gonna use them. But for now, it's good. There's Greenland falling. I've never seen Greenland get infected that fast. Canada is almost complete. Actually, no, it just started in Canada. <laughs> oh, no. oh, there we go. There's Japan. Come on. Come on, Japan. You are my best bro. How, how, how dare you get infected this late? What matters is that you got infected. I don't care. <laughs> now, all we need is Madagascar and Caribbean. I don't know why, but lately I've been playing a lot of Blake Inc. and the countries that are left last are usually these African countries. Uh, Morocco definitely is one of them. But Morocco, Madagascar, and Caribbean, interestingly, are the ones that are left. Uh, well, it's East Africa, Botswana, and Angola are instantly infected. There we go, there's Madagascar. Thank god we got it that early. Come on, Caribbean. I might fast forward this part just because it's boring. Uh, if it's boring for me, it's obviously boring for you. So I'm going to speed up the video right here until either Morocco or Caribbean are in fact. Oh, that's the only one that's left. Yeah, Morocco and Caribbean, yes. So I'm going to fast forward right here until either one Morocco or Caribbean are infected, and I'll see you guys then. Whoa, that was really fast. I did not expect that. That was perfectly timed as well. <laughs> wow, Morocco, you're good. Anyways, <laughs> I guess Morocco is out. We're going to be waiting for Caribbean. Bye, guys. I'll see you then. Caribbean's taking longer than I expected. There we go, finally Caribbean has fallen. Alright, now... Yeah, that's, that's actually pretty good, pretty good time. But we're still going to need uh, two years to kill everyone off. So now we're just gonna be waiting for Angola. Yeah, we can't upgrade tumors because science has increased understanding of it, unfortunately. Uh, that's one of my favorite symptoms, I don't know why, I just like it. Caribbean is falling pretty quick, uh, Angola not so quick, but after it gets like, I don't know, half a million people infected, it's gonna fall pretty quick, see? There's Zimbabwe is also getting infected. Uh, we got 50 DNA points, which is a little less. If we get coughing symptoms right now, if we get coughing symptom right now, it's gonna be good because that's gonna lower the cost of it. But I think by the time they get infected, they have enough DNA points. So I think it's a good time to tell you guys that I'm thinking of a name change. I don't know, I just don't think that Noob Gamer 420 really rolls off the tongue much. So I was thinking of, I don't know, Enigmator, maybe. Uh, and you're gonna be called Enigmates. I don't know, Enigmates. I don't know, I just think it sounds dope. But if you guys have any other ideas, just put them in the comments below. Uh, I really love you guys. Subscribe really means to me. No, uh, really means a lot to me uh i don't know what else to say man i love you there we go back to the game angola has three million it's going down pretty quick yeah see see how fast it's going i think that's the only oh and zimbabwe let's see who gets infected the, mm, faster let's see who gets in infected quicker it's gonna be Zimbabwe, which has 8 billion people, or Angola, which has 5 million people, but it's going much quicker than Zimbabwe. Never mind, Zimbabwe has taken the lead, and momentarily Angola is losing, and I think that's the end of Zimbabwe. It's gonna win. By the end, I mean it's gonna win. 
as you can see, I, I was right. By the time they both get infected, we're gonna have enough DNA points. There's Angola. Uh, this strategy is boring, but it works at the same time. Uh, it's not a 5 star or a 6 star, I don't really know how many uh, stars there are. But it's not a 5 or a 6 star strategy, it's more of a, like a 2-3 star strategy. But anyway, it works. So we're approaching the end game route, uh, and what I mean by the end game is that if you've been going with a bacteria strategy, just forget about it. Uh, this is the fungus strategy, and the fungus strategy is uh, you must get total organ failure. You can't get anything that's less lethal than that. And the second, and I mean the second you get total organ failure, uh, the race starts and you're gonna have to really get a close and uh, keep a close eye on the cure and on the genetic reshuffle. So let's get coughing, let's get sneezing, let's get immune suppression, and let's get total organ failure. Right now, I have the kill switch, if, uh, if some of you like to call it that. When I click evolve, everything is gonna fall in chaos. So let's go. <laughs> no, I don't want to devolve it. Um, we're gonna have to uh, really rely on luck right now and hope that the DNA points roll in quick enough to get all three genetic reshufflings before the cure is complete. So after I exit, oof, the rampage starts. Ready? Three, two, one, let's go. Let's check it out. Now you noticed it. 29,000. 100. They're dying really quick. Look at the cure. Look at the cure. Look at how fast the cure, uh, look at how fast the cure is being produced. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14, 16, 18, 19, 20. Come on, DNA points. Come on, DNA points. 8 DNA points. 9, 10, 11. 30%. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, DNA points. We need you, we need you, we need you right now. 50%. Cure is 50%. Genetic reshuffling. Come on, we need uh, 33 for the second one. Let's go. 42, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 50, 52, 42, blah, 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 blah. I can't even speak. And I'm turning into Eminem. Come on, go, 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 go. 33, we got 33. Genetic reshuffling. 63, 64, 65, 67, 68, 69, nice. 70. Come on, we need to, we need the third genetic reshuffling. Come on, come on. Oh, no, wait, I don't think we do. I think that's it. Do we have enough? All right, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna get it just for good measure. But I think that's it. You can never be too sure with the fungus, because, oh, there's coma, no way, there, yo, yeah. With the fungus, you can never be sure. Uh, this run went 10 times as better than the last one, but like I said, with the fungus, you can never be sure. Uh, the other times I've played it, there were literally 10, uh, there was literally 100,000 people left, and they found the cure, and I lost, and that was the most disappointed. I've ever been in a video game. Now let's get that and that so they die quicker. And like I said in the other video, the last million people are enjoying the world and all of the dead bodies in it. The world has once again fallen to Among Us Fungus. <laughs> That's a really funny name. 26 years, I mean, six years, damn. Real long time. Come on, seven? Yeah. Actually, no way. Come on, seven years. Seven years so I can have a reference to that song. Nah, no, seven years. Alright. So that was it. Victory Among Us Fungus has successfully eliminated all life on Earth. Damn, I got genetic complexity complex. Nice. Uh, you're usually gonna get standards, don't be disappointed by that. At time 2212 th days. That's about. That's that's actually seven years. That, yeah, that's exactly seven years. Uh, seven years intensifies. Cure progress 82%. Like I said, it's really down to the wire on this uh, plague, on this disease type. Uh, total score uh, three stars. That's actually really good. Three stars. I got two stars the other time. 
let's exit. We got crea creatonosis. I don't really know what that means. But next video, we're going to be playing with Nurax Worm. Now, Nurax Worm is one of the best plays in the game. It's really fun, it's really different. Uh, and it's also very exciting. And it's really, really easy. Yeah, really, really easy compared to the other plays. But anyways, guys, I think this video is long enough. Thank you so much for the miraculous and amazing support. I love you all. And like I said, I'm going to be focusing on the channel more. I know I've been uploading videos once a week, but that's really all the time I have to record and upload and edit it. But anyways, I'm going to say it again. I know I've said it a million times, but I'm going to say it again, guys. I love you. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Click a like on that. Click a like on this video and comment. I really appreciate it if you comment. You don't even have to subscribe. Just comment something. You know, say hey, hello, uh, whatever. Uh, I'm gonna be definitely. I'm gonna definitely be replying to your comments. Anyways, guys, uh, I'll see you all in the next video. See ya.